Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, back with another video on the darker side of the moon. I made a video on this not too long ago that showed you an easy way to get through it. This version will be updated to where it's even easier than before. There's a couple skips that I missed out on the first time I made the video I was unaware of, so I thought I should make this update video in case anyone's still having trouble beating this. I do recommend eventually trying to beat it legit, as it's really fun and really satisfying to conquer this without using any skips. For this first section, all we have is wall jumps and then this little pole swinging section. This is all pretty easy and I imagine you've gotten past this part before if you've been playing this for a bit. As for this part, I like to do long jumps. Once we get over here, I like to go to the right side. And once you get pretty close to the platform over here, I do a little cappy throw and bounce off. As for the lava bubbles, this section can be really, really easy if you just keep a steady pace and watch for your openings. As soon as you have an opening, take it and let the spikes get pretty close. Once again, every time there's an opening, we'll hop across. If you do take a hit here, it's no big deal. We'll have opportunities to get hearts. You just don't want to not hit the lava because then you'll uncapture the lava bubble and have to start completely over that section. If you did take some damage, you can sneak around the corner back here and grab this heart. All right, now we want to capture this uproot. You can actually get through this whole section without the uproot. But if you're having trouble with this, chances are you're gonna to take the easy route and we'll just go ahead and use the uproot. As long as you stay moving pretty quick here, this section is quite easy. These guys will not get to you in time, hop up here, push the platform up and jump over. Now, if you did take a hit back here and you're feeling a little nervous, you can hop up here and grab yet another heart. To jump over these guys, just get nice and high and you'll flip right over all of them. Push this platform down and we'll head over to the next section. Now with three hearts left, you should be plenty safe here. This section can be a little bit tricky. And I think the intended way to get through this is to swim over these guys. The way I like to do it is do a running long jump, throw Cappy, bounce off Cappy, and then twirl. If you do that, it's pretty easy to get by them. And once again, if you take a hit, no big deal. There's not gonna be too many more spots where we'll take any damage. All right, once you get Yoshi, we'll start riding up here. If you do need some extra coins, I recommend going across with Yoshi right when your head hits a coin. If you do that, you'll be able to collect every single coin. Once we get to this point, we'll just stay on the left. If you do so, you will not get hit. Once we get to the top here, we'll hop across. This section is also really easy. Once you head over to this area with these blocks that kind of make a little staircase, what we want to do is jump over the first set, flutter jump onto the second set, and then flutter jump over the third set. That's the easiest way to get across those, I think. Once we get over here, we can drop off Yoshi. We really don't need him anymore. Hit this P switch. And believe it or not, we are almost completely done with this challenge. We're gonna be skipping a lot of stuff from here on out. So here's one of the big major skips I missed in my first video. I like to collect the coins here first, as when you do a homing cap throw, it will target those coins and it's gonna mess this skip up. Once we get here, we're gonna throw Cappy straight out, hold down the throw button so Cappy stays in place, and then we're gonna backflip up here, land on this platform, and shake the controller so that we do a homing throw onto the Scarecrow. Now let's try it. Throw, backflip, shake the controller, and with this skip, we'll bypass the whole tricky wall jumping section. If you did manage to take damage somewhere, go ahead and snag yourself another heart right here. Now we have a part with the Gliden. Capture him, and we're gonna dive off here. And if you keep shaking the controller, you will stay at the same altitude, but if you get nice and low on one of these tornadoes, sometimes it'll shoot you high up into the air. Since there's four of them here, we're gonna go ahead and try again on this one, see if we can get shot up into the air nice and high. And there we go, we got up nice and high, plenty high enough. Now what you wanna do once you get the gliding going nice and high here is not push any buttons on the controller more than you have to and just keep shaking the controller. If you hit left or right, you will start to decline a bit and you don't wanna do that. So just keep shaking your controller. You'll maintain almost an exact altitude and you'll be able to pull off this huge skip here. We're bypassing multiple sections and a section that I didn't include in the last video, which is the Bowser section. We can bypass that by shaking the controller here and going all the way over here to this electric pylon. Once you get here, hop out of the gliding, ride the electric wire up, and guess what? You've just bypassed everything and beat the darker side of the moon challenge. All right guys, if you're looking for an even easier way to skip and you don't mind glitches, make sure you check out my flying frog glitch tutorial. Once again, I highly recommend beating this challenge legit as well. It's very satisfying when you finally complete it. 
You miss out on a lot of really cool sections with these skips, but if you just really want to snag those power moons, hopefully this video will help you do so. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.